So why are prices soaring? Experts say there is likely not a single drop of Russian gas or oil in any of the cars we drive or at the pumps of the stations where we fill up. Contact 5 investigator Dave Bowman takes a look at the bigger picture of why the cost of filling up is coming with a hefty price tag. And I would anticipate that we're going to exceed that record by the end of the week, maybe even tomorrow. Mark Jenkins of AAA Florida says gas prices were low in the first months of the pandemic because demand was low as people worked from home and hardly anyone traveled. And then the dynamic shifted. Then you fast forward into 2021 and all that demand comes roaring back. The vaccine is more readily available. People feel more confident traveling. They're flying again. But a lot of the countries are still pumping out oil at the same rate. Jenkins says it will take time for the U.S. and other large oil producing nations to get up to pre-pandemic levels. The gas in your tank came to South Florida from crude oil drilled in and off the coasts of the U.S. and Canada and sent to refineries on the Gulf Coast. Russian gas has never been part of the mix. But that doesn't mean the war is not affecting prices at the pump. With this Ukraine invasion, it's pushing up prices in Europe, and we have to pay more at the pump here in order to prevent that oil from being shipped to, to Europe. We may pay more even though we produce almost twice as much oil as Russia. That's because the baseline of oil prices is set on what is called the Global Futures Exchange. Think of it as a speculative stock market for oil and gas, where market forces determine the costs of gas and where the gas goes. If the price of gasoline gets high enough in Europe, suddenly those Canadians start thinking maybe they should find a way to get the oil over there. Dave Bowman, WPTV News Channel 5.